Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to learn about time to climb activity. In this activity, the students, they race to the top of the mountain against a clock by answering multiple choice questions. Let's see how we can build it. First, you need to log in in Nearpod using your teacher account. Then you have to create a new lesson. It might take a few seconds. Okay, once you have opened the new lesson, you have to add a new slide. And from here, you have to select activities and then time to climb. Okay, we can only add multiple choice questions in time to climb activity. So I'm going to enter my first question. What is the capital of Pakistan? And over here, I'm going to add the answer options. You can add up to four options for each question. And then I have to select the correct one. Okay, I'm done with my question number one. Okay, there is a time allocated for each activity. By default, 30 seconds are allocated for each question, but it depends upon you. You can change it according to the level of your students. Now I have changed it to one minute. Okay, now I'm going to add a new question. How many triangles do you see in the image? So we can add images for each question as well. Here is my image and the students are going to look at it and give the answer. Let's add the options. and choose the correct answer. Okay, now I'm going to add my third question. Okay, as we have added the image for the question, we can also add the images for the answers. So let's write the question first, which is not a source of light. Now I'm going to select the images I have to press the image button and we will go to the images tab and select the images we will upload the image we can use the images uh, from our local drive or we can search the Google also at the same time for adding the images Okay, once you have created all the questions, now you have to save your questionnaire by clicking on the save button. Here we are done with our time to climb activity and we will save and exit. Okay, the next thing is to share it with the students. The time to climb activity, uh, your students are going to enjoy it. 
the best during the live sessions but it's up to you you can also uh, let the students do it at their own pace so for sharing in a live session we are going to generate the code for the activity okay we are going to copy the link and this link will be shared with the students in the live session okay once the students get the link they will just copy and paste it in the browser or you can also give them the code so that they can use it in their apps okay now we are looking at the students view how they are going to look at this activity okay the here the student is going to write his or her name and join the lesson okay now let's move back to the teachers view okay i'm going to cross it out okay teacher has options to add a theme to their activity there is a mountain theme space theme and underwater theme so let's go with the underwater theme and continue okay so here we can see that zero players have joined the session so you have to wait unless all your students have joined the session let's go back to the students view here the students have to select a character for themselves there are multiple options which makes it very interesting for the students so they will select their character and press the start button they will not join the session unless they press the start button now as we see one student has joined the session now we will go back to the teachers view and we can see that one player is waiting for us now when all the students have joined the ses session you can press the start button so that they can all start playing at the same time now the teacher has pressed the start button and she can view the scores of all the students over here and here the students can view the questions now it is a time based game like the quicker the student is going to answer a question the more points he or she is going to gain so let's start answering the questions as you can see as the student has answered the question he or she is climbing up the mountain okay here is the question number 2 okay let's see what happens if we and give a wrong answer the student is given feedback at the same time so he or she knows on the spot if he answered it correctly or not and here is the last one the students really enjoy having a competition with their friends at the end of the game they are able to see the scores of the top 3 students but if the teacher warns that the students do, do not see the scores of other students she can hide the names of the students as well so that was the end of the session i hope you liked the time to climb activity and your students will also enjoy it thank you Thank you.